After refusing to give in to pressure from social, uh, excuse me, justice activists, Washington's pro football team bowed to another kind of pressure as a growing list of sponsors threatened to cut ties with the team unless they retired the Redskins mascot once and for all. So that begs the question, what new name makes the most sense given Washington's fans are among the most loyal in the league? Joining Anita and I this morning is Mark Reno. He's the CEO of marketing company Merit Mile. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. So we've heard from the team. They're likely to keep the color scheme, that burgundy and gold, in place. Can they stay true, though, Mark, to the brand and go in a whole nother direction when it comes to the mascot? Absolutely. The, um, the, the branding challenge in front of the franchise uh, in D.C. is a unique one, but um, not altogether insurmountable. The reality from our view is that um, this presents a great opportunity, an opportunity to reimagine, uh, rebrand uh, a franchise that's been around for close to 90 years. And if done with um, emotional awareness, a bit of compassion, uh, we'd like to think um, all related parties have an opportunity here to benefit for perhaps the next 50 to 100 years. Well, you know, the team is admitting that there is a name that they like, but that there are some trademark issues with it. So is there a question of maybe paying out a lot of money for the rights to this new name? Is that maybe at play here, too? I think that certainly goes into the consideration set. Um, you know, we live in a litigious society. However, um, this brand has been around for almost a century. I'd like to think that uh, between the franchise in, uh, in D.C. and the NFL as a parent organization, if this is in the best interest of, um, of both parties, considering the, um, the legacy and the heritage of, um, of that um, you know, sports franchise, um, perhaps um, you know, the NFL can help support the Washington, D.C. team in that spirit. And you know, let's not forget that um, everyone in this um, marketplace has a price if, in fact, um, there is um, an opportunity for this D.C. franchise to secure a name that makes sense for the Native American community, for the fan base, for the team as a whole. Uh, I have a feeling the, um, the, the lawyers will make that happen. Let's talk about the, the uh, realistic possibility that it can happen before the upcoming season, should there be one. You know, I've been inside FedEx Stadium and it is wall-to-wall -wall Redskins. It's all over it's the fans' gear. And it's uh, when you walk past the concessions, uh, you can walk in and, and, and you know get a hat and a, and a jersey and you name it. And you're out in the parking lot. And the vendors are there with their Redskins regalia. How in the world are they going to get rid of all of that come the fall? Great point. The, um, the brand strategist and I at, at Merritt Mile often chuckle this um, <clears throat> This isn't as quite as simple as, uh, as a cut and paste, but um, again, you're talking about uh, a high dollar um, private entity. Um, we're, we're talking about, you know, to the tune of, you know, 250 million to $500 million a year in top line revenues. So a rebranding exercise, um, although it's gonna be a little bit pricey, um, and if it's done correctly and methodically with the right strategy, um, it's going to be reimagined for the next several decades. And I think um, the long tail of this exercise is going to prove to be valuable, not only for getting on the right side of um, the historical relevance of this very important subject matter, but also for building and establishing the brand foundation for perhaps the next 100 years. If you had the ear of the owner, Dan Snyder, what would you say to him? Mr. Snyder, get the right people in the room. It not only includes your head coach, it also includes members of your community, your fan base, and most importantly, the Native American community. Um, let's do the research. Let's vet the good ideas. Let's rationalize them. Let's make the right decision. The biggest concern for the franchise in D.C. right now is making sure that they get this right the first time. The last thing you want to do is be sitting here in three months shrugging your shoulders and saying, uh-oh, we made a mistake. Um, so go to the drawing board, make sure you vet the right ideas, and make sure you engender the support of all the constituents in the community, particularly the Native American constituency. Well, that's going to be the last word except to say Mark Reno, CEO of marketing company Merritt Mile. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Six